Hey everyone. So I decided to just throw myself together, uh, do some light makeup, and uh, do make a video for you guys. And uh, I've, I've been trying to plan for this for a while, but I think I finally have all the information together that I need. So um, I wanted to talk to you all about John Renault or John Renault, ever how you want to say it. It's like tomato tomato. But anyways, um, so what I have figured out about John Renault is that most of their longer style wigs are so, so similar. And uh, as an example tonight, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I am wearing my new Alessandra by John Renault. And I, um, I bought her, I don't know, on the clearance a couple of months back. I just, I haven't done a review on her. Um, I did do a spotlight on the color. And she is in the 22F16S8, which she shaded in an 8 root. Um, but anyway, so I have her in this color, which is... 24 BT 18 S8. Okay, so that's that. So these are two Alessandras that, by the way, I absolutely love. And so that brings me to some other uh, things I want to talk about. So I've got I've got two Mirandas. Uh, I've got two Alessandras. And. The Mirandas that I have are in the, this one right here, which is 10RH16, and I also have Miranda in the 12FS8. Um, I have a Giselle in a 12FS8, and I have a Courtney in a 24BT18, which is this one right here that color right there so I've, I've, I've tried quite a variety of colors now this one I was I was kind of scared of the color but um, once again usually when I buy a color that I'm not sure about it's mostly because of the price because they're so you know they've been marked down so much that I um, I grab them and I just kind of gamble with the, with the color but anyways, so what I wanted to talk about mostly was, so I've got, I've got two Mirandas, I've got two Alessandras, I've got a Giselle, and I got a Courtney. And basically, I've got about four colors in there um, between the 12FS8, Miranda, Giselle, and Alessandra. I have all those in 12FS8, which, you know, is a very um, fashion syrup color blonde for you know I just I just kind of grab them because that'll probably always be a color I wear but the, the, the thing I wanted to talk about mostly was so I've ordered all these different wigs but they're all so similar and what I wanted to talk to you about was okay so John Man, John Renault Miranda is five ounces um, Alessandra is 5.3 ounces Giselle, oh, I didn't write those colors, I didn't write those size down, those ounces down, hold on, really quick. Um, sorry guys. Um, so Courtney weighs 4.3 ounces, which is lighter, and then, um, Giselle, I'm looking for Giselle. Giselle weighs 4.4 ounces. So Courtney and Giselle are similar in weight. Miranda and uh, Alessandra are similar in weight. But what they all have in common is the measurements. So Miranda is 10.25 in the front and Alessandra is 8.5. 
Giselle is 7, and Courtney is 10.5. So the crown on them with Miranda is 12.5, the Alessandra is 13.75, the Giselle is 12.5, and the Courtney is 10.75. Okay, so we go back to Miranda on the sides. Miranda's 11, Alessandra's 10.5, Giselle, oops, sorry, Giselle is 11.5, and Courtney is 11, okay? And then the nape on Miranda is 12, the nape on Alessandra is 13.75, and Giselle is, nape is 13, and Courtney's is 13.5. So, <clears throat> I love all these, these wigs, I do. I mean, they're all just a little bit different, whether it be the bang, a half inch, or the length a half inch um, now the only difference they might have is like this one Alessandra is pretty much straight she doesn't really have very much curl to her at all now Courtney Courtney has a curl in the back like a, bit, a little bit of wavy curls Miranda has some a little bit more exaggerated curls. And then, I think that's it. But my point is, if you, if you can only um, narrow down what you like versus straight, versus a little bit of wave, versus a little bit of curl, really, all these wigs are the same. And I didn't know that. I didn't notice that when I was buying them. Um, I mostly, you know, was just looking at the clearance racks and, you know, just I would see one that I liked and I thought, oh, I gotta get that one. You know, so I've got about nine John Renault wigs and of course I will wear them. I love them. Um, I will wear them until they wear out. Um, I haven't worn this one yet, but you know, summer's here and this one is coming out, so. but. I just, you know, I just wanted to say that I guess when you're shopping for wigs, it's, it's hard, you know, to see that comparison. The only reason I actually saw it was because I have a book that I keep a log on everything I buy, the data I buy it, um, how much it cost, um, and I keep a list of the, the weight. The measurements the color um, so I I've been keeping a book for four years on all this stuff so in looking at that book and keeping my book updated I started to realize that we've got I've got four wigs from John Renault and I've bought them in the last year or so because I just you know about a year ago I actually discovered I could wear John Renault that it, it wasn't too small for me I had a bad topper in the beginning and I just felt like well that topper didn't fit over the top of my head so I probably wasn't going to buy John Renault anymore and I stayed away from it until I was watching a video on someone and they said that um, Miranda was big head friendly so I thought I'm going to try one so I got my first Miranda and of course you know I loved it it's gorgeous and um, they were reasonably priced now, the difference between these wigs that I see is the most difference is Miranda is only a, she's only a, a late, she's a, she's a front lace and a left hand part. Okay, now this is not Miranda, but I'm just showing you. Um, Alessandra is a small mono top with a lace front. Giselle is a um what do you call it she's a mono top and a lace front and then courtney is fully hand tied so that is the difference as far as what makes them be priced a little bit lower um like i said you know uh let me see i think this is This is Giselle right here. And so she, 
She is a fully hand tied crown where Courtney is completely hand tied. She's got the full mono top and she's completely hand tied all the way around. And then Miranda is just a left hand side part. Okay. And then Alessandra is like Giselle. She's got the same top. So anyways, um, they all have, they all have the lace front in front. So, but anyway, so I just wanted to kind of, you know, point that out. If you're new to the game and you're shopping, you know, keep in mind that a lot of these longer layers and not just in John Renault, but a lot of other brands, in order for them to put a new wig out, they've got to they've got to make some difference, and it might be might be the same wig, but they might be cutting the bangs at seven instead of you know twelve, um, and that's the, that's one of the differences is that the um, the John Renaults, so the the Mirandas are ten point five. The Alessandras are 8.5, so they just added, they did two inches. Uh, Giselle's are, is at a seven, and then Courtney is at a 10.5. So, they, you know, similarly, they're, that didn't sound right, Simil so, never mind, <laughs> that word did not come right. So, them being similar, um, but with like maybe one little difference makes it a different wig. So, you know, if you find something that you like in, let's just say you want an Alessandra and you're like, oh, you know, I can't find one at a price that I'm looking, looking at. Well, maybe you could go look at one of the others, like a, um, a Giselle would line up with Alessandra, except for, you know, she's got a little bit of curl in the back. Um, where if you were looking at, let's just say a Courtney, uh, she's all hand tied, so you know if you're looking for all hand tied, you know that's a whole different story. But if you don't care about being hand tied, which I do not care about it being hand tied, actually I feel like the the whole hand tied thing makes me hot. Um, but I do have that wig, I do love it, and it will be for special occasions. I wore it on Christmas Day um, with my family, and uh, like I said. It's all hand tied. It feels like a it feels like a special wig. So, but I'm just saying, if you're really looking, you know, into these John Renaults and you find one you really like, but you can't find the right price or the right color, look at one of the others and see if you can live with those differences. Um, and like I said, on the website, every wig tells you how much it weighs what the front is, what the crown is, the length on like the front's here, the crown is here, the sides are here, and then of course the nape is the back from hanging from the nape, from the nape down. So, you know, so you can really, um, you could really shop around and you, you could, you know, get some other wigs, maybe even in better prices, you know, which is what I do. I, you know, I look at the clearance racks and see if, you know, I've gotten so good at looking through the clearance racks now that I know exactly which ones will not work for me. Um, like I said, you know, I just, um, I keep scrolling until I see one that I think I'll like. Um, and of course, you know, there's some brands that I have eliminated out of that I will not purchase again. So, you know, I just kind of scroll through those. But, but like I said, you know, um, if you see something you like, like if you see, like say you want a Courtney. You can't touch it because it's hand tied and the price is just too much. You can't afford that. You know, go look at Courtney's, you know, her 10.5 in the front. Her crown is 10.75. Her sides are 11. Her nape's 13.5. Look at some of the other John Renaults that maybe aren't hand tied that are in just a mono top, but they might look like Courtney. You know what I mean? They're just not hand tied. So, so I just thought I would come on here and talk a little bit about this and, you know, maybe this can help you guys um, try to figure out, you know, 
Um, one of the things that I did was I put a video out <clears throat> and I talked about uh, wigs that I would never purchase again and um, the reason why I wouldn't purchase them. And so um, somebody really got upset with me because they said I was being wasteful, that I had bought all these wigs and I knew I, I knew they weren't for me and I did, but I didn't know. When I first started doing wigs, I didn't know all of this stuff. I didn't know about, you know, what a lace front was. I mean, I have a pretty good idea, a lace in the front. I mean, that makes sense, but you know, uh, some some have special ear tabs. Someone have some of them have really bad ear tabs. Some have Velcro, you know, napes, and some of them have extended napes. So there's so much to learn, and of course I have learned all that now. And you know, uh, but anyways, you know, this person got really upset with me, and I I didn't even know what to say because I was like, well I'm sorry, you know, but I purchased a lot of these wigs on clearance when I first started. You know, I looked the clearance racks over and over, trying to figure out what to buy. It took me forever to buy my first piece because I was just like, oh my gosh, I just don't know what to do because it was overwhelming. So hopefully I'm putting some information out there for you that will help you along um, and help you get to the point where you can purchase, you know, some wigs and maybe not put as much money into them as you think you have to and you have to keep waiting and you can't buy a wig and you can't purchase it because of this but if you can you know deal with some variances then you then you can have a wig you know you, you can buy you can get another brand or not another brand excuse me another um, wig with a different name you know like a John Renault versus a Miranda you know what I mean Miranda's are just the left hand part and they got the lace front but they're just as nice as the Alessandras, you know what I mean? So, anyways, here I go again. I ramble on forever. But, so anyways, I thought I would just talk about that, and then um, I thought that maybe I might come back and uh, do another uh, review on some other things that I want, really want to talk about. And like I said, um, I hope this information is helpful. Um, like I said, I've got four wigs. I've got, you know, some of them in two different colors. I, I've got about five or six John Renault colors. And um, I, I pretty much know now, you know, what colors I cannot buy. Uh, you know, if I see, if I go on the website and I see a number four, I know I can't buy four, I can't wear four. You know what I mean? Um, this color here, I was really, really doubting. I really felt like it was gonna be way too blonde, but I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's uh, it's the 22F16S8. So, oh, so it's two colors. It's a 22, which will be which would be the lighter blonde. The 16 is going to be the under the under blonde, the darker one, and then your eight is going to be your root and you know, it's rooted all the way through, and it's going to be, you know, not as much underneath, but right, kind of right at the base. So, so there's three, there's, there's two colors, but it's rooted. So, so I wasn't sure, um, because in Aesthetica, these colors, I felt like they were just too blonde, and it could have been because they weren't rooted. I don't know. But anyways... But I got this color and it is showing golden, kind of golden blonde on here. But it's a very neutral blonde, which I like it a lot. I didn't, I wasn't sure about it, but um, I got her for such a good deal. And she had um, sent, they had sent me a, an extended coupon like over the top, like 20% more off of what was already off. So I just, I thought, I'm just gonna take the plunge and get it. And I'm happy I did because, I mean, she is really pretty. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but like I said, it, it's seeming like it's a, it's a little bit gold in here, but I'm really feeling like this doesn't have any gold in it. It's more neutral, so. 
But anyways, here I go again rambling. But anyway, so um, I just wanted to say um, I hope this is helpful. I hope you know this helps you in making decisions when you you know you're on you're on there looking and you're trying to decide what to buy, you know. But you're like, oh, I don't really want to spend that hundred dollars more. You know, maybe you can look at one of the other wigs. You know, maybe you can look at a, a Giselle, a Courtney, a Miranda, Alessandra. Maybe you can find one of those four. And like I said, with it, with the exception of just being straight versus a little wave versus a curl, the curls are mostly at the ends on these. And like I said, it it, it will help you. It you know, I know they they call them sister wigs, but I don't know that. These are really sister wigs, but they do have wigs that, you know, do look a lot alike and, you know, they call them sisters. So, all right. Well, anyways, you guys, um, I'm going to pray the Lord blesses you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.